welcome to this class of AZ400 which is designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions. So previously this AZ400 course is actually named as Microsoft Azure DevOps Solutions Expert. On June 15th this was renamed as designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps Solutions. My name is Subramani Sundaram and we are going to learn AZ400 from FlexiMind. Now a short introduction about myself. So I am DevSecOps engineer with over 11 plus years of experience in architecting and automating and mission critical applications and large scale infrastructure applications. So I am much proficient on configuration management tools and creating a lot of CI CD pipelines for a lot of large scale organizations and uh, critical applications as well. And I have completed this Azure DevOps engineer expert certification last year and I have been awarded as Microsoft certified trainer this year. Apart from that, I have also completed a certi I mean like site reliability engineering which is certified SRE and I am a SA4 DevOps practitioner which is scaled agile for framework enterprises, DevOps practitioner for large enterprises as well. And I am also a DevSecOps engineer and welcome to this journey. Let us see a full details about AZ400. If you guys have any doubts or anything, please feel free to reach out to FlexiMind and I'll be happy to help you guys across. Thank you. So let us start our journey of AZ400, which is designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions and the certificate name, they generally call it as Microsoft Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. Okay, so it has actually seven sections. Like if you are going to attempt this certification, you have to be proficient on seven sections out of it. So we will be seeing what are the things that we will be covering as part of this certification and everything and each and every section, what are the details it has okay so the section number one is going to be implementing devops development process and if you see from the exam perspective it is actually covering 20 to 25 percent of your major syllabus over here so this module you guys have to pay a lot of attention towards it and what are the things that we are going to see in this particular session there are multiple modules and multiple lessons inside it so what is the first module first module is nothing but getting started with source control so we will be seeing what is source control, what are the benefits of source control, what are the types of source control systems and introduction to Azure repositories and migration from TFVC is nothing but team foundation version control system to Git repositories and then authenticating your Git repositories. How do you use your username and password to authenticate a lot of things we will be seeing it in this module. The next one is like module two, which is scaling Git for enterprise DevOps. So how do you structure your Git repository and what are all the Git branching strategies and how do you collaborate with the pull request and what cares about the Git hooks and what is an internal open source, what is Git versioning. Here we will be seeing a lot of things about semantic versioning, major version, minor version, patch version, a lot of things about it and then we will be seeing what are all the public projects and what are all the list of files inside the Git repository. And the module three, we will be mainly looking into implementing and managing a build infrastructure. So what is the concept of DevOps? What is Azure pipelines? And what is a main difference between a hosted and the private agents? And what are all the agent pools? And what is a pipeline and concurrency? Concurrency in the sense like what is a parallel pipeline? How many pipelines you can run parallelly at the same time? And what is Azure DevOps and the open source projects? And what is Azure pipelines YAML? And what are all the private agents? How do you integrate Jenkins with Azure pipelines? And how do you integrate external sources with Azure pipelines? And how do you analyze and integrate Docker with multi-stage builds? So this is one of the important module in this section. The next module is we will be seeing managing application configurations and secrets. So how do you introduce security as part of it? And how do you implement security and compliant development process? How do you rethink application configuration data? How do you manage secrets? How do you manage tokens? How do you manage the certificates? And how to implement tools for managing uh, security and compliance? And the last module in this particular section is going to be implementing a mobile DevOps strategy. So how do you actually introduce a mobile DevOps strategy? And what is a Visual Studio App Center? And how do you manage mobile target sets and distribution groups? And how do you do a UI testing on mobiles? And what is a provision? test devices for development how do you create a public and private distribution groups so if you see we are actually covering an entire life cycle in this module one or sorry in this section one so this is going to be your important section 
The next section which we are going to cover is mainly focusing on continuous integration. So here if you see it is actually coming around 10 to 15 percent of your exam syllabus. So it has three modules inside it and the module one is actually implementing continuous integration in Azure DevOps pipeline. And in this we will be seeing what is a continuous integration overview and uh, how do you implement the build strategy. Okay. And the module two is actually managing code quality and security policies. So here we will be seeing how to manage code quality and how to manage security policies. And the module three is implementing a container build strategy. So here we will be seeing a lot of Docker container build strategy. <coughs> and then comes section three, which is implementing continuous delivery. So here also, if you see, it is coming around 10 to 15 percentage of your exam syllabus. So in this, we have variety of modules and uh, the first module that we are going to see is designing a release strategy in which you will be seeing what is continuous delivery, what is a release strategy recommendation, how do you build a high quality release pipeline and how do you choose your deployment pattern and what is the right release management tool. The next module is set up a release management workflow. So here we will be seeing how to create a release pipeline, how to provision and configure environments, how do you manage and modularize task and how do you integrate secrets into pipeline and how do you configure it, uh, automation, integration and functional testing and how do you automate ins inspection of health. In the module 3 we will be seeing an appropriate deployment patterns like what are all the deployment patterns, what do you implement blue green deployment, what is a feature toggling, what is a canary release, what is dark launching, what is A-B testing and progressive exposure deployment. So this particular module is very important for DevOps engineers to know what are all the different deployment patterns available as part of your CI CD. The next section we are going to see about implementing dependency management. So here also 5 to 10% of the exam syllabus will be coming in. So this is a small, uh, very small section and the very small modules that will be covered as part of your exam. So in here it has two modules. So which first module is designing a dependency management strategy. So what is package dependency, what is a package management and how do you implement it and manage security and compliance. So how do you actually make a package security and what is the open source software, how do you integrate license and vulnerability scans out of it. The next section is going to be application infrastructure. So this is another important section in this particular exam and it has 15 to 20 percentage of your exam questions. So here <laughs> it has multiple modules and first module that we are going to cover is infrastructure and configuration and Azure tools. So here we will be learning more about what is infrastructure as code and how do you use ARM templates, how do you use Azure CLI, how do you use Azure PowerShell and what are all the additional tools and how do you version control it. The next is Azure Automation and we will be seeing what is Azure Automation and what is desired state configuration. The next is Compute Services, so here you will be seeing about a lot of IIS, PaaS, SaaS and Azure Service Fabric, Azure Kubernetes Services, Application Architecture Model, choosing a compute service for your infrastructure. The fourth module is third party tools like Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Cloud, and Terraform. How do you integrate with Azure and how do you make an infrastructure creation? The fifth module is nothing but compliance and security. So here you will be seeing about security and compliance in your pipeline, how secure your pipeline can be and Azure security and compliance tool services. The next section is implementing continuous feedbacks and in this section you will be seeing about 10 to 15 percentage of your exam questions. So it has three modules. The first module is recommending and design system feedback mechanisms. What is the inner loop? What is the continuous experimentation mindset? And how do you design practices to measure end user satisfaction? And how do you design process to capture and analyze user feedback? How do you design process to automate application analytics? The next is implementing process for routine system feedbacks to development users. And here you'll be using a lot of system usage, feature usage, flow usage, and creating a dashboards, and implementing a mobile routing, crashing data or analytics, and developing monitoring and status dashboards, and integrating configuring ticketing systems. The next is implementing and managing built infrastructure. So here is where your site reliability engineering comes into the picture, and how do you analyze alerts, what is a blameless postmortem, and how do you perform an ongoing tuning to reduce a meaningless and non reasonable alerts and all these related to alerts and dashboards will be seen in this continuous feedback session. The final section is going to be designing a DevOps strategy and if you see here 
again 20 to 25 percentage of your questions is coming in if you see it has only three modules but this particular section is also very important as part of your exam so here first module is planning of devops so what is going to be your transformation planning and what is a project selection what is your team structure and what is the planning for quality and security and how do you plan a quality how do you secure your development and module 3 is migrating and consolidating artifacts and tools how do you migrate an artifact how do you integrate into a source control so this is mainly about the strategy like how do you build a complete ci cd workflow along with infrastructure and everything so on the whole if you see there are seven sections with multiple modules and multiple lessons inside it but don't get panic because uh, don't see like it has a lot of syllabus and a lot of modules and a lot of sections inside it we will try to make it as easy as possible and i'll try to explain as much as i can from my side and be ready for this journey because as i said this is a three star expert level certification program so it needs a lot of attention and it needs a lot of practice from your side so be attentive as much as possible if you are not understanding any videos or if you wanted any much more explanations or anything please reach out to me 